Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for joining us for the Starship webinar today. We're going to take a look at the new SAP Business One integration. My name is Chris Lettner. I'm a sales executive for B Technologies, and I'll be taking you through the presentation first with a brief PowerPoint, and then followed by a product demo to take a look at the B1 integration in action. A little bit about the company first. B Technologies has been specializing in integrated shipping solutions for 32 years now. Uh, we have a customer base of over 10,000 users, and that offers support for both parcel and LTL carriers. Today, we'll focus on the Business One integration. In the information graphic here, you can see multiple data sources, different uh, channels for sales coming in. And Starship kind of acts as a hub for pulling together all of your ERP data together with any PICPAC or WMS information out in the warehouse, uh, pulling together your EDI orders by connecting those up through the ERP integration and then updating the EDI system, connecting with all your various carriers through web services, which does away with having multiple platforms and then also tying in all of your e-commerce orders. So you have different carts and marketplaces all feeding into Starship. So what does that workflow look like? Uh, really, Business One is going to kind of be the hub for all of your order data. That could include any e-commerce orders that are flowing through into the ERP, any EDI orders that are being pushed in. Uh, Starship will key off of that. If you have a WMS in the mix, we'll be picking up the packaging information from the deliveries in Business One. And all that information is merged into Starship where you're able to assign the carrier, manifest that or tend to that load with your LTL carrier, assign uh, container IDs, print uh, barcodes, uh, 128 labels for your trading partners for EDI, any packing lists or uh, trading partner compliance documents, uh, packing lists, bills of lading, manifests and on all of your carrier documents, anything for customs that may be required as well. As we're updating the ERP, we're also handing off data to your EDI solution so that can go back and update all of your trading partners electronically, and then kind of completing a circle and pushing all of the detail back into business once you have it there for customer service purposes and for invoicing. Just a quick look at some of the various carriers that we offer support for. Uh, Starship has uh, built-in support for all your national parcel carriers, as well as some regional carriers like Speedy in the Midwest, on track on the West Coast. There's about 20 different LTL options with various common carriers, direct web services integration. We also have uh, some hooks into 3PLs like Freight Quotes and Worldwide Express. Uh, shopping cart side for e-commerce, we offer different carts and marketplaces. A lot of the popular uh, marketplaces where you can sell your products online are available for add-ons as well as all the different uh, shopping cart platforms. So you can integrate all that data in directly into Starship and ship directly against the marketplace or e-commerce e uh, cart, or all that data can be placed into the Business One sales transaction. We're able to extract it from there and then update both sources on the right back. So with that, we'll get into the product demo. Second here. So here's your Starship client. This is really where all the shipping activity takes place. And with Business One, we're able to link into the sales orders. Uh, so we'll go ahead and show you that process here. If you have a pick ticket or a printout of your order, you're able to scan that in. If you have um, barcoded uh, that information on the paperwork, you could also type it in here or there's a lookup option as well, where you can search on all the pending transactions, look at all of your business one sales orders. And those can be sorted here a number of different ways. You can pick the different fields in order of sequence that you want to sort on. There's also the ability to add filters in. And most commonly, you're just entering an order, scanning that off of a pick ticket, and then Starship will take over from there. So we'll go ahead and pick our first order. Starship will retrieve all that information from business one populated on our screen. Then from there, the shipper can move forward with processing the shipment. 
Over on the left, all the information will populate from the order header. Uh, so starting at the top, you have the company that you're connected to, the order that you retrieved. The transport transportation information is pulled out of the ship via code. So you have the carrier and service level translated from that. Uh, billing preferences as well. We can pull third party collect billing out of business one along with the transit time. So based on when it's going to be picked up, when you can anticipate that would be delivered by. Return address, we call them senders here in Starship that can be pulled from your bill to you as well. So if you have different entities that you ship on behalf of doing blind shipments, drop shipments, that can all be pulled over as well. Recipient information that's pulled over. So your ship to address, contact, email, any of the information about where it needs to go to. And you'll see here, we validated the address as it came over for business one. So with that, you know, you're working with a clean address. You're going to catch any of the additional accessorials. Uh, if it's going to a residential address, a rural area, uh, someone that requires a lift gate, any of that stuff can be flagged directly off of the sales uh, transaction and the customer tables. Looking down below here, you have um, the carrier and service information as, as well as the uh, box information here. Starship has a packaging database and that can be set up with all of your own custom packaging. That could include the dimensions as well. So if you want to rate things by the dimensional weight versus the actual weight, we can compare those two. Uh, the unit weights from all the line items coming out of business one will be aggregated to arrive at the total weight. You can always put that product on the scale and we'll read the weight in in real time. If you want to pack this out into multiple boxes, we can also do that here. I can add a box by clicking on the next arrow. You also have the repeat function. So if you have several pieces that you want to add all at once, you can add those here at the same time. Or you can add a box, take away a box over here. Starship also allows you to take all the business one items and place them into their own container. With that, we can process this order. And as we're running back into business one, we can take this order and move it into a delivery and the packaging information from Starship will feed back into business one. Once you have uh, all that information set up here, you can also do rate shopping. This can be invoked by the user, or you can set it up to automatically rate based on your preferences. There's also ship via rules that can be enabled in order to route the carrier and service type based on preset criteria. You can see here, there's a number of different options going from the post office as, as the cheapest all the way down to the most expensive. And you can sort those here by price, by transit time, or alphabetically by carrier. We'll go ahead and stick with the UPS ground service that came over from business one. When I'm ready to process my transaction, I can come up here to the toolbar or I have keyboard shortcuts here in the shipment menu. So this is useful if you want to kind of automate that process by creating a barcode to emulate the keystroke, replacing the keyboard and the mouse. So F5 ship and process that will complete my transaction, send all those jobs to the printer, print out my labels, my packing list, whatever's needed in order to get that shipment out the door. Uh, we support any Zebra thermal printers, as well as any laser or inkjet printers that you might need for your packing list and the other documents like export documentation, bills of lading. Here you can see a version of our packing list we have with the shipping label together. We have multiple formats of these. They can all be customized with logos or Barcodes, reference information, if you need to customize those for a specific customer, any kind of branding that may need to be added. And we'll close out that second package. So let's take a look now back in business one at the results of that shipment. So I'm going to navigate here to my deliveries. And here we have the delivery that we just created. So we took that open sales order and created a delivery here in business one. So we have the products and quantities here from the sales order. If I click over on the logistics tab, I'm gonna right click over here. And that'll bring up our packing slip. And you can see here Starship created the boxes 
uh, from that transaction. So I have my first box here with my first product in it, my second box here with the second product in it as well. So you can essentially bring over all the loose items from the sales order, pack those out on the Starship screen, and then Starship will put in the information at the package level uh, back into Business One. And that can also include any kind of mixed containers that you're creating. Shipment detail will be captured over here on notes. If I hover over that, we can see the notes here. You can customize the content of the data here, the sequence of what information appears here, and I'll show you that right back uh, when we complete the next transaction. Also, your tracking number will populate here. That'll be the master tracking number, the first of the multi-piece series. So we'll say okay to that. That is our typical workflow of taking a sales order and then shipping it out, turning it into a delivery. Uh, from here, we can go ahead and take that delivery, turn it into an invoice. Uh, we can merge that delivery with another order if we need to. Let's take a look at shipping a delivery directly uh, from Business One into Starship. So I'm gonna open this one here. Before it's shipped out, you see there's no notes there, no tracking information, we can take a look at the packing that was done here in Business One. So you can also assemble orders and create shipments uh, from Business One for multiple sales transactions, or if you're using a warehouse management system, collect that package information, the package contents, and all that will be captured here with the packing slip in Business One. Starship will go ahead and read that information in so you don't have to pack it out on our screen. Close that one up and we'll go ahead and ship our next delivery. Over on the Starship side, you have different connection points with Business One. So here I can pick the Business One client deliveries as my data source. And just like we did with the sales order, we can go ahead and scan in or key in the next delivery note that we want to ship. So we're reading all that order information in, as well as the packaging from the delivery that'll display on the Starship screen. So you can see here the difference. Uh, we don't have to pack that shipment. It read that detail directly off of the delivery. So we have our two boxes with the items already prepackaged. As it came over, Starship already went ahead and rated that. So really at this point, all we need to do is process the shipment if we don't need to do any additional data entry on the Starship screen. So pretty cool, nice feature if you're, especially if you're using that in conjunction with a warehouse management system where you can pack out inside of business one, or you can go ahead and uh, use that with a third party tick pack system, have all that information captured, housed within business one, and then Starship can pull that information in directly so you don't have to pack out on our screens. Again, we'll print our packing list, our labels, whatever documents are needed, and push back those results back into Business One. So we can go ahead and take a look at those results here. As you can see, our invoice does not have the notes. We do have the tracking information over here and all the package detail is captured over here. We'll go ahead and take a look at some of the other options inside of Starship that you'll get with the license, a couple of different front office utilities. With Starship, you have access to the dashboard. This is a browser-based utility, doesn't impact your user licensing, where you can go in and do lookups using any of the Business One data find the customer's records, take a look at the tracking information, also has some metrics on the uh, shipments that you're doing over historical period. You also have access to the rate quote utility. This is opening up the rate shopping functionality to anyone else in the front office that may need access to taking a look at rates. You also have the e-notify option. 
So you can do custom emails. Of course, the UPS Quantum View, FedEx Ship Alert are supported with the carriers. You Notify lets you do your own custom email templates, so you can include any kind of attachments. That could be a static file that we pull from an external directory or any of the shipping documents that are created within Starship. You can PDF those, have those included with the ship notification that goes out. And you also can set up your own custom schedule when you want to send those. So those, those can go out real time. As soon as you process the shipment, we can fire off the notification. Uh, they can be delayed, so you can sync that to a certain process within Starship, or they can be manually sent out as well. Okay, that concludes the information that we had prepared to show with everyone today.